how to ace the quant section. Uh, as ever, there are going to be, uh, I'm going to break this into three parts, three steps of learning quant. One is fundamental concept building, where you understand the basic ideas very clearly. You go through the theorems in geometry, the properties in number systems, the basic formula in each topic. So don't rush through this, get the basics in place very clearly. The second phase is the drill, the grind. This is very essential. This is where you do lots and lots of questions so that processes get automated in your brain and then you can pick up speed. So if you've done 25 quadratic equations questions, then you automatically know what you're looking for. You know some of the roots, product of the roots, you know discriminant, all of those things fall in place immediately. And speed is essential to this exam. Don't look to have a separate set of speed building exercises. Quick match, speed max, quick reading, none of those work. But the grind is very useful to set the base. You're getting your body and your mind ready to do a lot and process it quicker. That part is essential. The third iteration is when you step up the level of difficulty and think about questions of the level of difficulty seen in CAT. That level, that level of difficulty. That is when you're automating the processes will help. That's when your brain is ready to do a lot of questions. And you can you can plug ahead and and solve and crack so the, the speed and the grind have been done and every time you step up and take up challenges like this you'll realize that there are some funda gaps some concept gaps some things you're not really clear about you have to go back and fill that right so uh, this is the broad theme do the fundas do the drill and then step up to the level of difficulty required kind of thing that you need to keep in mind don't go berserk with level of difficulty and so uh, firm us Little theorem, Wilson's theorem. These are things that have not been tested for 20 years. The chances that they'll get tested this year in a skew. So don't go overboard, especially in topics like number systems reminders and permutation combination. They're not, that, that, that really nice juicy questions in CAT come from mixtures, come from pipes and cisterns. And so do the basic topics well, but don't go overboard. In, in, in cranking up the level of difficulty in obscure topics because there is more to learn there. You, have a, you need to have a sense of what is the level of difficulty for our exam. That is very, 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 very crucial. So keep that in mind. That is one thing to focus on. The second thing, you need to know what kind of student you are, whether you have a funda problem or you have a speed problem. If you, some people cap off at a level of difficulty, at a level of difficulty of eight, nine, 10 out of 10 levels, they can do everything from one to six really quickly, but don't have the gear to try the tougher question. If that is your issue, then your fundas are weak. You need to go back and revisit fundamental. Some will say, look, any question I can do, I write the equation, solve them methodically, and I can, I can, I will dot the I's, cross the T's, but I don't, I take an unholy amount of time to complete this, then speed is your issue. If fundamentals are your issue, then go back, learn the theory, learn, understand the funda behind the theory. What do I mean by that? Test of divisibility by four. Check the last two digits. Why does that work? Area of a triangle is R into S in radius into semi-perimeter. Semi Why does that work? You learn more and more of the underlying, you'll get better and better at the concepts. Fine, so fill those gaps. Those are very useful. If uh, drill is your problem, uh, your speed is your problem. I've seen quite a few students who are conceptually sound, but uh, struggle to break habits, you know, to consciously break it. And so I, I, I've known my students say, right, let the number of cows be n. The number of feet, legs for each cow is four. Total number of legs is four into n. You've got to suspend these habits of writing those sentences, make it visual. Your data capture has to be visual and you need to go to the meat of the question and not wait for your hands to catch up with your mind. So you have to break those habits. Suppose you're able to factorize a quadratic equation by splitting the middle term, you should straight away write down the roots of the equation and not break it and factorize it into two parts, put equal to zero and say seven or minus three and then say minus three doesn't work, doesn't matter. Seven works, seven is the answer, minus three anyway won't work. So you need to train your mind to not follow the full set of steps for every time, every iteration you do. And so we have to do a speed building thing where then do a lot of drill and consciously rush through some steps that are not required. 
you don't need to write down text make your data capture visual and then run through if fund are your, your gap where you're not able to climb up to the level of difficulty then then practice that then then go back and revisit the basics it's a very crackable exam very simple set of topics fine so next i'm going to focus on the important topics and what you should focus on what 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 does what gives you the best return on time invested and so the elephant in the room and in some ways is the arithmetic part which is percentages profit and loss speed time races mixtures ratio proportion uh, linear equations and quadratic equations technically algebra but can be punched together simple interest compound interest your your set of classic simple math topics which you learn in classes 7 8 9 uh, where there can be tougher questions asked we need to have a very sound grasp of fundamentals but you don't need to know any fancy theorems and if you are a beginner in math get this nailed down if you have this topic in the bag and you say anything i can do in this reasonably quickly i'm telling you you're looking at 93 94th percentage not 70th 80th you can get every arithmetic question right in reasonable time you will get 90th percentile that's what puts a basic score in the back to the giant section after that you have algebra inequalities functions polynomials quadratic equations cubic equations that part then you have the part with geometry and then number system permutation combination of these three geometry gives the best returns because you do it well you can gain time and it uh, sometimes can geometry, trigonometry, mensuration, coordinate geometry, these put together can account for eight to nine questions. That's pretty important. So after arithmetic, go to geometry and then go towards number systems and permutation combinations and inequalities functions, that, that part you need to. But uh, don't dump geometry totally. It's a good topic, it's a fun topic, it's, a, it's an easy topic to learn. So the one of our, the free classes in the two IM course is geometry. Go through that, you will realize that geometry is a lot of fun. So, so don't 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 skip that so we've covered what topics to focus on what order to go on how to approach what are the steps to to learning and how to know what you're good at what you need to work on whether fundas or speed those are two anchor points this is the uh, the, the the idea being very clear and being able to grasp and do this quickly so keep these metrics in mind when you're when you're solving this fine so best wishes for cat very doable make sure you throw everything into it in the last few months as wishes.